Hi, welcome to Words of Torah. I'm Rabbi Johanna Hershenson, and I serve Temple Beth Tikva in Bend, Oregon. This week, we are visiting the Torah portion called Ki Tetze, and uh, it has some wonderful verses, uh, especially in juxtaposition to last week's Torah reading, Shoftim. So last week, we established um, the importance of a system of justice in society. And um, we really focused on the importance of those participating in that system, whether in the form of judges or police, uh, be unbiased, that they work out their biases in order to execute the law as fairly as possible. This week in Ki Tetze, we see a number of commandments that um, really translate what it means to be kind, what it means to be merciful in daily life. Things like um, if your roof is flat and it's a wonderful place to stargaze or watch a sunset or a sunrise, uh, you need to put a fence around it so nobody falls off the edge and gets hurt. If um, you're collecting eggs for breakfast, uh, one is expected to shoo the mother away or wait till the mother leaves the nest so that the mother bird doesn't have the insult and injury of watching those eggs being taken away. Uh, right, These are rules that um, the rabbis would categorize under um, rachamim, mer mercy, compassion. And in fact, the Musa rabbis uh, tell us that from these kinds of commandments that are trying to mandate kindness, we learn about the importance of rachamim, of mercy uh, in our daily living within a just uh, or fair society, that society requires us to give the benefit of the doubt, to go out of our way to be a little extra kind, to exert rachamim. Where does this word rachamim, which we define as mercy, come from? It comes from the Hebrew root rechem, which means womb, right? So our um, we are innately wired uh, to uh, exert mama love, the kind of love uh, that is uh, the love we experience from the womb, um, that uh, we assume uh, that the womb is a safe environment and that mom is helping make it a safe environment, thus we do out in the world. So as pregnant mom uh, thinks about what kind of food she eats, uh, what kind of environment she spends her time, if it's a calm, nurturing environment or a stressful, chaotic environment, right? We count on mom to mitigate uh, the cruelty of the outside world for that fetus, right? And so our Torah portion calls on us to mitigate uh, against the cruelty and harshness of, of the world by exerting rachamim, mercy, mama love, thinking about where a fence could help people keep safe. Um, of course, today's conversation might be about a mask, right? Um, is wearing a mask a moral judgment, a moral call? No, many of us feel that wearing a mask is uh, something we do out of love, mama love, for the greater whole, so as to stop the spread of a virulent virus. Mama love. You don't have to be a mama to uh, cultivate and practice that kind of love. We call it mercy. We call it thinking ahead about um, what might occur if uh, nature took its course and can we set the stage, can we cultivate the environment uh, for kindness, for mercy, for unconditional love? Good question for us all. Happy week.